Marty Burks here with the ASCHE, and we're talking with Ryan Vano, and Ryan's with Natural Composites Incorporated. Uh, we're involved in making usable products out of waste stream biomaterials. Ryan, you want to tell us about what the company does? Sure. So we take uh, natural waste streams, agro waste. Uh, we've been focusing on the coconut waste and turn them into high-value added applications of composite materials. Our two products right now are a natural fiber composite. They take the fiber from the husk of the coconut uh, and put them in uh, products for automotive, uh, geotextile, packaging, and all sorts of applications. Uh, it's a non-woven composite and it uses up to 50% coconut fiber. Um, our second product is a natural filler utilizing the coconut shell into a powder for uh, plastic. So really we're talking about uh, replacing petroleum products, replacing uh, polyester, uh, polypropylene resins just with natural materials. Uh, so this is a uh, box made from coconut shell powder. It's 20% loaded of natural filler that increases the strength uh, and uh, reduces the amount of uh, petroleum. So 20% use of uh, coconut powder in there. In some of these other products you've got, um, what, what percentage of coconut fiber is being used in those? Uh, these were anywhere from 50 to 65%. We've got products uh, that start down at 25 and we're working on all the way up to 100. So uh, this has 65% coconut fiber and 35% polyester. earlier about that this is all waste material that there were no use for. Being in the water business, I know that uh, coconut shell uh, makes excellent carbon. Activated carbon. Activated carbon. That's really the only use for it right now, okay. and compared to the amount of coconut shells available, it's a very low end use. It's okay. a very small percent of the market. Five or ten percent. Right. We've got 50 billion coconuts are falling off the tree every year, and it's so much work to make the carbon, um, really a very small percent of it's used. So. What state is your company in now? Uh, uh, with respect to our R and D offices uh, are located in College Station, Texas. Okay. We have uh, two global manufacturing sites: mm -hmm. one in Southeast Asia, another in the Caribbean, okay. where we source our raw materials. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are basically operating all over the United States. Sounds good. Any last words for uh, our viewers on uh, Connected? Yeah. Well, we're going green and. Uh, exciting future. I think there's a lot that we can offer with the biomaterials industry and um, this industry is really just getting going. So uh, check us out at naturalproducts.com if you have any more information. Uh, thank you. Naturalproducts.com. 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 Thank you.